Okay. Had a few people on a, some of the groups ask for a tutorial on how to make a LC filter. So I'll throw one together real quick. Uh, basically, what you need is some capacitors, which uh, here's a couple different varieties. Um, and one of the things to watch for is the voltage on it. This is a 200 volt capacitor. That means it can handle up to 200 volts without blowing up. This is a 10 volt capacitor. Let's see if I can get it to focus on it. Maybe not. Anyways, this is a 10 volt. So this guy will handle up to 10 volts. So don't throw it on something where you're trying to balance a 3 cell. Then, uh, we have one like right here. Uh, this is a 16 volt. So it'll handle up to 16 volts, uh, which is pretty good because that can go all the way up to a 4 cell for most of our operations. Um, well, 4 cells will push in it because a full charge is just over 16 volts. Um, but 3 cell, you'd be fine. So most of your video gear that's 12 volt, this would be a good one to go with. Um, and then. This is all pulled from a computer power supply. So I just unsoldered them right there and uh, pulled them off. So choosing your capacitor, you just got to make sure that it'll handle the voltage that uh, you, you require. So if you're running a 5 volt uh, regulator, you can easily go with this 10 volt capacitor and it'll work great because uh, it'll handle it. That's not rate, That's not saying, it's not like a battery where it's saying, hey, this is going to put out 10 volts. That's its maximum capacity that it can handle is 10 volts. And then, uh, or maximum voltage, not capacity. So I'm going to choose this guy right here because I want to make it for a 12 volt system. And uh, another thing you'll need is a toroid or ferrite ring. Um, those can be pulled out of these coils that are found on the power supply. And they have all different kinds. This one actually uh, came off another, another power supply, but they're all over there. You can even find these at Radio Shack. They come in a little uh, pack that they were, I don't know if they're going to be selling them anymore, but they're discontinuing these, which are pre-wound. Uh, but they don't have enough windings for what we want for a video filtering. So you have to tear them apart. But so on the basics, let's uh, go in here, and you're gonna need some magnet wire, your capacitor, your ferrite ring. I'm gonna get these out of the way here. Some solder, some flux, and this is how the magnet wire normally comes is on a spool. And the first thing you'll need is to wind your inductor. Um, I don't really have a set number of turns that I do. It mostly uh, just whatever we can fit on the ring. So I'll just cut a piece here and then we'll just wind this up so just pass it through and all you do is keep passing it through until it uh, fills up or run out of wire one or the other. So we'll, I'll fast forward it here until I get done with this. Okay. Now this will only filter one side. So either your positive or negative. Uh, if you needed to filter both sides, that's where you would want to either wind two wires around this or just make two of these and put them side by side. Um, but I'm only going to filter one side because the on your BECs, the voltage or the positive is usually the noisy end of it because the ground is a, a common ground plane. So you don't usually get noise generated on that very often. If you get a really bad BEC, uh, it can generate noise. But an average, like a 
turn to G or anything above that will work fine. So, what you'll do now is you'll connect the capacitor to here and then make your ground wire and you'll be set. So let me get that uh, lined up here and we'll start on it. Okay, so I have the positive side of the capacitor lined up with the coil here so that it'll, I can just solder directly on. And you can tell the positive side because the negative is always marked on the electrolytic capacitors. Uh, ceramic capacitors don't have polarity. There are these uh, little tiny guys on here. They don't have a polarity on them, so you can either way, it doesn't really matter. But electrolytic, uh, they'll blow up if you put them backwards. So let's uh, solder this and we'll get going. So now we have that on there. So it's soldered, it's ready to go. So that is the positive side. So now we just need to run a wire for the negative and it's pretty much ready to use. So I get a ground wire here and I'll uh, put it together. Okay, so here's the basic uh, LC filter. Your power is going to go in, go through this, and out to your device. It can actually work either way because this is just stabilizing voltage spikes and this will kill AC or currents that you don't want. This is just your ground that would go to wherever. You can just connect both grounds together. It'd be fine that way too. Um, but basically the coil is your positive, positive on the output of the uh, capacitor, and your ground. That's a basic uh, LC filter or inductor capacitor circuit.